Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. So Polkadot, as I already mentioned in, in previous videos, did eventually, it did break out of the wedge. Yeah. Um, I showed you that wedge as reversal pattern in, in various videos. Yeah, and also you could see that as an inverse head and shoulders with a descending trend line. This was a breakout point, um, waiting for a retest. Retest happened once and maybe twice now and we could be ready for a move up in a wave three yeah and that is the wave that should be the strongest wave yeah because how we can count this we can obviously you know be aware we, we were waiting here for lower prices lower prices lower prices which happened polkadot made a nice lower low and here again as soon as we broke into that wave one price range here and that was above 690 i told you we can now flip it similar to ADA, to the bullish scenario because the imminent bearish scenario was invalidated. And um, so far this is looking good. Yeah, we moved up strongly. We broke out of that channel, out of that wedge. We are retesting it from above. You could call that bull flag. Yeah, you can see that here, like another descending wedge here out of which we now broke out. And good indication that indeed we are going up into this wave three range would be a breakout above eight dollars and ten. So first indication is here that uh, seven eighty five level, and even better would be a move above eight dollars and ten. That's the wave one high here, and then we could move up in a wave three, and the target of that is around ten dollars and sixty. Okay, so this is currently all following the Elliott wave count within the wave two, as you can see here. We have a nice three wave structure where uh, do, 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 do. where we can count a wave A, a B and a C, all right? So this is currently uh, looking very interesting and just waiting now for a move above this yellow line, which is the 50 day moving average, then above the wave B high here at 785 and then a move above the $8.10 level and then we should have all the, um, the resistance levels broken that are of initial relevance here. Then next resistance will be at 885. That's the wave A here that is highly relevant. That is highly relevant. And then the 994 level, it's another resistance. And then really important one is the 1081, um, which is here. But before we get to 1080, we should finish off wave three. So this is currently how it's looking like for, for Polkadot, looking good. I think a break below the trend line, below the descending trend line would obviously be a bit problematic. It would not invalidate anything, yeah, but it would be a bit um, yeah, problematic. Ideally in a move up, we wanna hold this now and it looks like we broke out of this wedge to the upside anyway. Important just to maintain this impulse to the upside. It would be important and by the way, this was also the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. Now, if we go lower, yeah, I mean, hopefully we, we should at least hold the 61.8 at 687. Below 621 then, the 88.7% Fib level, I think it will get more likely that we will see another lower low below 597. Yeah, and that could then, for example, be here the 88.7% Fib level, which we never really reached, which I would have liked to see because it's an ideal level for a reversal here, the uh, 560 level, where well, we never got there. Um, but for now, because we have a significant impulse here to the upside, now a corrective move down, we can be more optimistic that we move up from here. But as I said in the Bitcoin video, it's a bit like 60, 40 probabilities at the moment. So 60% in favor of a breakdown and 40% that we will still make another lower low. So it's, it is a, it's, it's a turnaround space in which we are. And the uptrend is, if it is an uptrend, it is still in the very, very early days. Therefore, still a lot of uncertainty in the market, but because we invalidated that bearish pattern, we can be leaning more towards the bullish breakout and we can be more confident the more resistance levels we are taking out. A move overall then, when you get this five wave move complete here, yeah, um, all of this again will then be corrected down in an ABC correction. And this ABC correction then will take us down again significantly a bit hard to say now where because we don't know how high wave five will really go that will be able to we will be able to calculate after wave four so but that whole move here that whole five wave move would then be corrected down again that would then be another high probability entry point again okay and that's currently how i see polkadot so hopefully you like the update about polkadot if you did 
please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.